Today we have a box right here from Ulta. Do you remember what's in this box? I do. We have the Kylie Jenner toothbrush, toothpaste, and whitening gel. It's actually Kendall Jenner, but you were really close because it was one so of the is it Jenners. Kylie or so there's two. So Kylie does the makeup, and Kendall is like the supermodel. <laughs> But anyways, we have Kendall Jenner's Moon products, and we have had this box for a couple weeks, and we've been meaning to do this video, so here it is today. We are literally opening it, and going to try it and review it with you guys today. Can you even name the five? Can you name, I guess there's three Kardashians and so two we got Jenners. Kim Kardashian. And then we have Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner. You only know, <laughs> come on, you have two Kardashians. They, in, if there's a hint, they start with a K. All of them. Drawing a blank. So who gets three out of five Kardashians? I'm not up to date with the Kardashians. That's actually pretty good though. Okay. So, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go through them. Looks like we have the floss picks. Very cool. And then we've got the stain prevention teeth wipes. We have our whitening pen. We have the soft bristle toothbrush, ultra fine, ultra fine bristles. And then we've got our charcoal activated whitening toothpaste, fluoride free. And finally, we will. We have our activated charcoal whitening mouth rinse, also fluoride free. Okay, so starting off looking at her packaging, I think it looks really like sleek, sophisticated, and modern. It's like a matte black with like silver lettering on it. So I think she did a really good job with her packaging. What do you think? It, it feels really nice and it feels expensive. It looks really modern. I like it. I feel like that it kind of was expensive for like dental products, but we'll kind of test it out and see and I'll go over all the prices and the ingredients that she puts into it. And so we can kind of compare with that as well. Um, I think you wanted to start, we already kind of ripped open the toothbrush. <laughs> He picked the black one and then I have the white one. So I'm assuming yours has activated charcoal in the brush? It does, it does have activated charcoal. And a lot of their pro and the biggest thing on their products that, you'll, that I first noticed is that it says that it's cause driven. That helps to support healthy smiles everywhere. They do have a website so you can go ahead and check out what that actually means. And their toothbrush is really nice. It does have a little indentation in the handle where your thumb goes. It's really soft, which is what um, it says a soft, I guess the description is a soft bristle toothbrush, ultra fine in a pack of two, which was $6.99. And then it says how to use, so it's best when using the moon toothpaste for a healthy looking smile, replace every three months or sooner if bristles fray. And then this is not intended for use by children. And the other time that you should change your Toothbrush just as a side is when you're sick because that bacteria can go onto your toothbrush. If you are sick, go ahead and replace your toothbrush sooner than three months. And then the other thing that she does have on her packaging, um, I'm just kind of starting with the toothpaste because you have to use the toothpaste for <laughs> the toothbrush. Toothbrush. Is um, first off, it is cruelty free and vegan, so it's not tested on animals. And then she says that it is free of SLS or SLES triclosan, parabens, animal products, and artificial flavors, and it is made in the USA. The toothpaste is a stain removal whitening toothpaste, fluoride free, and this is the Lunar Peppermint flavor. This retails for $7.99, which I guess is a little bit more than normal toothpaste, right? Yeah, most toothpaste run between three to four dollars. The how to use on the website is Brush teeth thoroughly after meals or at least twice a day or use as directed by a dentist. Do not swallow. To minimize swallowing, use a pea-sized amount in children under six and supervise children's brushing until good habits are established. With this toothpaste, as Taylor said, it is fluoride-free. 
and that's one of their biggest pushes that they, that all of their products are fluoride free. We do believe in fluoride. Fluoride does help to strengthen the teeth and that therefore decreases the risk of developing cavities. And even small amounts of fluoride has been placed into our water system to help reduce cavities. But this toothpaste is fluoride free. So this would be something if you are a low caries risk you could probably use if you're like me and you're high caries risk this would probably not be my everyday toothpaste just because i need that extra fluoride in my toothpaste to kind of help protect my teeth you can check out our ctx caries free video if you're not sure about your caries risk okay so i opened it there was a little cap on it oh my gosh i swear i pulled that thing off so it it's a little difficult to get the toothpaste out of there. It is, right? I'm squeezing. And it's... It's like got sparkles dark. in it. Yeah, it looks like a glittery toothpaste. It does have charcoal in it. And charcoal is supposed to be mildly abrasive and helps to take some of the toxins or filters or absorbs harmful bacteria. Um, the only thing with charcoal, which they're still doing research on, is it can't since it is mildly abrasive you don't want to use it too often just because you can cause damage or more sensitivity to your teeth by brushing away your enamel so i guess that's one thing that you want to be careful with you ready yeah okay go so i'm using the bath technique <laughs> it's been a while since we had to use a manual toothbrush yeah huh? So I'm used to work using an electric toothbrush. Me too. So it does foam up. I wonder if they just use like a different ingredient for foaming. It does have a nice flavor. I like the peppermint. It's like when you breathe in, it's like you just had one of those like peppermints. Yeah. With the manual toothbrush, I'm not a big fan. I been using my electric toothbrush for over two years now and I really love it and it feels really weird. Maybe I'm just spoiled. <laughs> you know what though? These would be nice toothbrushes like when we travel or something. Yeah. Like I'm not hating on the toothbrush because it was really soft. It's a nice, nice texture to it. I don't know if I love the toothpaste. Out of 10. Out of 10, I would rate it like a seven. Like it's literally not terrible, but to make it a 10, I would need four. Yeah, I like it, I mean, it foams up nicely. What would you rate it? Uh, for flavor, like a 10, I like the flavor. You rated it a 10? Yeah. Like overall, like a 10 out of 10. Like or, this is a rock yeah. star product, no. like 10 out of 10. Yeah, maybe like a, yeah, like a seven. <laughs> you just well, can't say seven because I said seven. All right, <laughs> I'll rate it like a, yeah. Like an eight. Like an eight. Because you like the flavor. So I like the flavor, I like the packaging, the one thing I don't like is that it's pretty hard to get the toothpaste out of this bottle. Foaming action is actually pretty good. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have fluoride, but it does have charcoal and the charcoal is supposed to be antibacterial. I just don't know there hasn't been enough research on that as much as there is on fluoride. But overall, the packaging is great. I like, I'm like going back to the packaging because I think that's their strongest point and the foaming was good. So I would, I probably wouldn't keep this as my my go-to toothpaste, but, but you it, I like it. Opening up the mouth rinse right now, and it looks like the mouth rinse retails for $8.99. Kind of, their key, their key benefits, and they keep pushing this, is that it's 100% vegan, and it's not tested on animals. It is made in the USA, and it is fluoride-free, again, with their fluoride-free. And it says, before you use it, you gotta shake it. And adults, children six years and older, rinse with two teaspoons or 10 milliliters prior to brushing to achieve whitening by removing surface stain. So you want to rinse with this before you actually brush. Oh. <laughs> for best re for the best results. Well, we're not going for best. We're just going for something. And we recommend rinsing twice a day, morning and night. Do not swallow. Instruct children under 12 years of age with good rinsing habits to minimize swallowing. Supervise children as necessary. And if more than use, 
Oh, if more than used for rinsing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control right away. Okay, you ready? Yep. She measured out 10 milliliters. So what, what I like to do is a little trick is you put it in the cap. This elixir does have a blend of... That has a really weird aftertaste. Like it's yeah. like too much of whatever is in here. So it is alcohol free. I just, I don't know, I read that while we were switching. So alcohol free um, is really good. Say you are an alcoholic or you cannot, or you have a dry mouth and you cannot do alcohol because alcohol dries your mouth, you want an alcohol free mouth rinse. That would be a really good thing that I would recommend to my patients. Um, so I did like that about it, but it <laughs> felt like it had alcohol in it because it, it, it did it kind of burn, does, huh? Yeah, it does. I had a little, <laughs> like a peppermint burn from it. So it kind of felt like it did have alcohol in it, even though it says it doesn't. Um, but that was just what I noticed. I'm not a big fan of the flavor. Okay, rate this mouth rinse out of um, 10. Out of 10? Mm-hmm. Probably like a seven. You liked it? I mean, I didn't, with any type of mouth rinse, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be rinsing for pleasure. Like I rated it like a five. Is it because of the taste? Yeah, like I like a minty taste, but that was like a weird taste. It does have a weird taste. <laughs> okay, next product. Okay, what product do you have next? Uh, I have the Stain Prevention Teeth Wipes. Have you ever heard of teeth wipes? I have not heard of teeth wipes. So. <laughs> And that's exactly why I bought that because I have never heard of teeth wipes. Teeth wipes. Um, these retail for $14.99. And once again, they are all vegan, free of all those things. Um, how to use. Tear open packet. How many packets were in there? So one box comes with... So 10 packets. 10 packets. Tear open packet, wrap wipe around finger make sure your fingers are clean <laughs> okay wrap it around your finger it says um and firmly grasp with thumb uh-huh gently wipe your teeth and gums to remove surface stains keep it out of reach of children so this one's not for children this is really weird i i haven't heard of teeth wipes <laughs> <laughs> Other than like children, it's almost like a little wipe like a you can use to <laughs> like a clean your face or <laughs> clean your butt. Okay, what? Okay, these are mint flavored. What's what's in this though? And it's really hard to wrap around my finger. Properly. Ingredients are water, alcohol, polysorbate, glycerin, sodium bicarbonate, flavor, stevia, which is. Or stevia extract, cranberry fruit extract. Does it taste like cranberry? No, not really. You think your teeth got whiter from this? No. <gasps> oh, I have a cut. Bad idea. <laughs> I feel like a, tooth, a toothbrush would be much better than this, but I can see where it would be useful, like if you're on, on the go. It's and... like I took my lipstick off. Yeah, it took your lipstick off. It kind of burns. Yeah, it does have some alcohol. So if, <laughs> if you're on the go and, I, and if you don't have a toothbrush, then having these little packets in your, in your wallet or I, I guess you can have it in your purse. Mine's not dirty besides my lipstick, is yours? No. Okay, my question is, do you think this was worth like $15? This was $15? That was $15. You better take a little package and put it in a Ziploc bag and reuse <laughs> this for $15. Okay, so that was the only thing is it was literally fifteen dollars. It comes with ten, and they're one-time uses. I read the directions right. Mm -hmm. I probably rate this at a two. It's not very practical to have. I think it was like a good invention, but like I would much rather use a toothbrush. But the thing is, it doesn't have like any like hydrogen peroxide or any whitening in it, so I don't know 
how it's technically supposed Just get to a paper be. towel and wet it <laughs> and start to clean your teeth. <laughs> okay, next I just ripped them open. Oh, Remember? I think it's because we were using it wrong. You're supposed to fold it this way and then wrap it. Let me see. Do like that. Oh yeah, that's that's different. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're moving on to the next thing. Um, these are clean slide wax flossers. How cool. Ooh, ah. I love the packaging. <laughs> There's actually 90 flossers in this. Go and ahead, this, tell me the how to use And this is only $4.99. It does have four star reviews. To use the floss slide, the floss side. Hold the handle and guide the floss between your teeth, removing it gently in back and forth and then up and down motion. To use the pick side, place the pick between the teeth and the gum. <laughs> you can't get it between my teeth. <laughs> Precautions. Your gums may bleed or become red or swollen after the first few uses. <sighs> if bleeding gums persist or gums remain red or swollen, discontinue use and consult your dentist. If you have red or bleeding gums, you might have gingivitis, you might have periodontitis, you may want to come You see might us. want to see us anyway. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So let's take a look here. I, like, First of all, really the, I think this is probably my favorite product ever out of, in the tip. Out of all of the Moon products. It's also a Taylor's lunch flying out. In general, I don't like to floss because I don't like to put the floss between my fingers. I really like these little handheld flossers. You can even put this in your wallet. You can put it in your purse. You can put it in your phone case. Does it say it's one time use? Yeah, it's a one time use. Or you can literally rinse these out and use it multiple times. I probably wouldn't use it like more than like three days in a row, but the other thing I like to do is to dip these into the mouth rinse to kill the bacteria and then just use it again. Okay, so would you, what would you rate the floss picks out of 10? I would give this a solid 9. I like the design. I think it works really well. And what would make you get a 10? If I made it. <laughs> okay, you know what I want to do though? Okay, so it was $4.99, right? Uh-huh. Divided by 90. So that means it's five cents per every floss pick, right? Mm -hmm. So that is just to put it in perspective that every time you use one, it's five cents. Okay, last product. I like this one. Is, which this one, I guess we can't leave a really good review on it because it's something you would have to use over time, but it is the Candy Cane Teeth Lightning. Oh no, they don't even have it on the website. It's been discontinued. I wonder if it was like limited edition. Okay, I'm just gonna Ooh. review the normal. I think it was like, um, it might have been like a Christmas special or something. Um, but I'm gonna go over the normal teeth whitening pen, which is the vanilla mint flavor. Um, so I'm hoping it's the same, the packaging looks the same. Remove cap, click the button at the end of the pen until the whitening gel dispenses. It may take several clicks from the first use. Oh, uh, there it is. Okay. Okay, smile and brush a thin layer on your teeth. Wait 30 seconds before closing your mouth and 10 to 30 minutes before eating or drinking. Apply up to two times per day for two weeks. Do not use in combination with coffee, tea, cigarettes, or other substances that may impact your whitening effect. It says you have to control con <laughs> it says you have to consult the dentist prior to use. Doctor, is it okay that you use that? If irritation occurs, <laughs> such as redness, swelling, or soreness, discontinue you. <laughs> And you can only use this on natural teeth. That's what it says. Just for the whitening gel, we'll be using it for the next two weeks. Oh, and we'll be checking out the results. You can catch my Instagram stories 
at the end of the two weeks to see our results. I really like the pen. I like that it clicks. I like that you can take it wherever you need to go. The one thing I don't like is that it doesn't come with a cover, so I don't know how well it's going to work. So we're going to be taking a couple of shades and seeing where we're at and seeing if it works or not. As far as the other products, we can actually review it and see if we approve it and we would use it or if we probably wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Let's start with the things that we really like. Really, so really like. like. Gloss. Love it. Would Love recommend it. this. Use these guys. And they're actually a good price point. Um, $4.99 for a box of 90. Um, what are these called? The teeth wipes? The teeth wipes, I would not recommend. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get it. No. It's just really awkward to use and not very, I didn't feel that they were very effective in removing Not for the price point either, like next, yeah. the toothbrushes. I would, if you don't have, if you don't want to purchase an electric toothbrush, I would definitely use these for traveling. But at the same time, I also like my electric toothbrush. So I'm gonna eh, these ones. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend these. They're not anything special. I, like Taylor said, we prefer to use electric toothbrushes. I feel like you get a cleaner uh, feel afterwards. All right, the toothpaste. Personally, eh. I, I, I like the toothpaste, not too bad. But this is just because it doesn't have fluoride in it and I need fluoride. But if I were recommending it to somebody who doesn't need fluoride, I would say it's a pretty good toothpaste. Would you say it's worth the price? Because that was like $6.99? For the price point, not really. Okay, lastly is the poor mouth thread. I didn't like this. It was okay. That's, that's like I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm not gonna hate on it. Yeah, same. A lot of their products are are promoting whitening and fluoride free. And I believe from our standpoint, we're trying to get you to help your smile and help to reduce your risk of developing cavities. It doesn't say anything about helping with preventing periodontal disease or gum disease. It just says healthy smile, but it doesn't, it doesn't define what a healthy smile is. It doesn't say that it helps to reduce cavities or any of that, which you'll see in mo advertised on most toothbrushes or toothpaste and mouth rinses. And I feel like there's different products that help to whiten your teeth a lot more effectively, uh, such as whitening strips or actual custom whitening trays or even in-office whitening products as you guys can see in some of our previous videos. So overall, out of all the products, the one that I would probably get is... <laughs> the Flossers! The flossers. Because they were really cool and actually at a good price point, this is what I would get. So that is our review by Kendall Jenner's Moon, which is like an oral hygiene company. And we're going to be placing a link below, so if you are interested in any of these products, you can buy them uh, from Ulta. I think you can buy them from somewhere else, but I just bought them from Ulta. <laughs> we'll put a link below. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And then don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be putting out some more dental videos here soon. And we'll see you guys next time.